Hello, hello, hello. This is your man Nicholas Shepard from the Shepard Hunter Enterprise Business Administration and Information Systems Consultants LLC. And today we are going off into our initial um, project manager database um, audit okay, portion. And um, what I would like for you to do before we get started, go ahead and make your your contributions and donations by clicking either or our PayPal our donation uh, QR code or our cash out QR code okay and um, these donations actually go to a lot of our um, viewers that are not capable of uh, you know in other countries that are capable of actually um, somewhat like getting in touch with people who they need to get in touch with. Um, they don't still have the finances, right, to do business with a lot of people um, here in this country or abroad. So I have been speaking to some individuals um, in other countries and you know, via interpreter or the person themselves. And what they would do, they would tell me that um, if I can help them assist them, Okay, and I could say all these things cost money because of the fact that, first of all, I tried to create a unified uh, business system uh, as far as administrations uh, that would link them to a formatted business in their country, which I had to uh, request documentation and things of that nature so that we can. Um, start this process because I want everything. I want them to have a business as well. Some of them, um, you have to be very careful who you try to present, who you do business with, because you do not know exactly what these individuals' um, um, uh, purpose may be. Okay, so um, I try to get them to do as much footwork as I can, as far as getting the necessary documents so that I can convince with them um, or I can actually incorporate them as an analyst in my organization and that would take more documentation and things of that way to make sure uh, the person I'm talking to is actually an actual business minded person not someone who's just trying to uh, run some type of scam or scheme so your donations uh, will help me filter out those who are not serious with those who are serious and because when I link them up to you to help you to assist you whatever activities you may have you know that you're gonna get the best quality work from these individuals based on not only my observation but my investigation my company's investigation of this individual person by uh, gathering the necessary documents and you know information that's needed to uh, allow us to know that this is an actual person that really want to do business in this country and they have went through the necessary steps to do so okay all right so that's what these that's what the donations are for again I'm gonna put this back up and uh, you can always contact me and um, if you have a need for any business consulting you to do some type of rearrangement in your current company um, we will gather the necessary information for you to find out exactly what you need and then we will be able to base those requirements and match them up with a cost okay all right so um, again um, the information that we have here is based on a, a, a non-disclosure agreement Okay, and where's that the information you see here? Is solely the property of the Shepherd Enterprise Business Administration Information Systems Consultant LLC or Shepherd Enterprise LLC Business Administration Information System Consultants. And the information I'm showing here is just for training purposes. Um, all the information that I am displaying, that I am displayed, I am displaying in these training sessions is for informational purposes only. Um, I have tested a lot of information. Some of the information is still in testing. So this isn't a solve all solution 
okay for your database or systems uh, matters okay always seek other uh, opinions about whatever you do when you're trying to implement something into your system when you're trying to make adjustments to your systems your systems um, before you actually put them in production uh, because no matter what you do there can always be some uh, type of solution other than what you're trying to implement um, that will possibly corrupt your system or make it fail okay so always do your background investigation do your checks and thing tests and then from there then when you try to roll it out to your um, particular company um, that information you know is secure okay and if you have any questions you always contact us at the email address i have listed here which is shop enterprise llc at shop enterprise.com and if you see any violations out and about pertaining to uh, what we are giving out here that you feel that may be a violation of what i'm displaying to you uh, in this training session always um, email us for the topic of uh, technology violations pmds functional violation and then describe where you got the you know you got the content from and um, the nature of the violation and where where it was released okay all right um okay so from there uh, we'll go off into our database activity okay and what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to go into my document, which I always do before I go off into any um, uh, presentation. All right. And as you see here and what we do here on a consistent basis, we always, okay, I'm saying we always um, give account to what we're doing when we're doing it and how it will be a service to you okay so um again what we're doing here is today is the 23rd of may um and what i have been teaching those who are following our methods is to always okay always document what you're doing okay so that if you have any errors or um, system issues, you can always go back to where you think it was because you have documentation. Not only that, if someone asks you, if you work with a client, when your client's in, you want to find out exactly, or they have a question saying, okay, well, um, we noticed you was talking about this this day. You can always go back and uh, reiterate exactly what was going on and what made you come to the conclusion that you have come, you have come up with. And also, um, you want to make sure that you always document exactly what you're doing, what tables you touch, uh, forms you made adjustments to, everything like that. So you can always track that information back to the source. So if there's any bugs or quick fixes, you can always go back and then make those corrections. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, again, what we are doing today is uh, I was looking at our project manager database and what we have found out in this session okay and what we're doing is um, we want to be able to uh, uh, go to this particular form here now I was using this form all right uh, but there's a lot of different things that has to take place and I've noticed, okay, now some of these things I have not even put the form uh, associated with it. I'm using the order form, but I want to reiterate that the form that I'm using that triggers uh, what needs to be done is on the accounting side. And on the accounting side, what we would do, we will click the customer budget account. Uh, customer project account budget and the only reason why we do this because we are looking for a solution okay to a problem all right now if you go if we go to 
the form, the actual uh, project tracking form. And as you will see, so don't get it mixed up, you have the estimate of cost worksheet. Okay. And the estimate of cost worksheet pull up a different form. Okay. That will allow you to, um, let's go to that. Uh, okay. I don't have that yet. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So it will go to this. All right. So, um, but all that is triggered by, you know, one of my other forms. Okay. And it's all, it's always on, this is, it is, excuse me, it is on the audit form. Okay, so on the audit form, go back, go here, design view, uh, this right here, um, and on here, we got a factor to approve accounts, and we have uh, up bill, measure, update account amounts. So here, all we're doing, basically, we're trying to figure out, okay, um, once a project has been worked and has been worked, it has been, has been uh, worked for a period of time, and we want to find out whether or not we want to add uh, another process, okay, to the, to the whole project, right? But the first thing we need to do, we need to determine exactly at what point can we do this, you know, and if the budget is there and to allow us to do it, okay? So those are the things that we were actually looking at. Um, so what we're doing is through that, we have this form, okay? Go through the form. We have, uh, let me go back to it. Okay, we have this form here, all right? Which I explained to you that what we do is uh, but it's another form too. Let me go back to my document, all right? Because I was doing some analysis on this, so um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So um, there's a form that I was using, and I want to see where is it? Do, 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 do. Budget and audit project. Let me see. Look at this one here first. I think I already have this, but let me see. Uh, tracking funding audit. Um, but it was another form that we were using as well. And I don't think I actually uh, have that form up right now. Let me see. So I have this form. Okay. And then, okay, so there's another form that I was using so that we can calculate that. So I want to make sure I have that form up. All right. Um, the funding audit, tracking. So I have this tracking. Um, this form here. Uh, I think we already had this form up though, but let's go check it out. I think we already had that form up already. So. Let's see. Uh, okay. We already have the form up, but um. This form, let me see, because I don't know if I changed the whole um, dynamics of this, so it opened up this form here. Okay, when I click this and close this out, close this. So when I click this, it opened up this form, which is a tracking form. Okay, so this is the regular form, right? And then we have the audit form, okay? Which I described you have. Uh, no, I didn't do it, I think I did. Okay, 
okay, which we have the auto form. There was another form. Let's see, we have the tracking form. This has this. And then we have this form. Uh, close this out. Because I don't need this. This is confusing the situation. Uh, 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 um, what am I? Okay, so what are we doing here? We want to count customer account being administrator, or customer account approvals, which we have up. Um, account funding, approval adjustments form, and for search criteria, for customer number. We went through that. Um, let me click project budget. Okay, would you open up this form? Okay. Go back. Okay, project budget. We can open up this form here. Let's go to design mode. Okay. Okay, so um and on this form here so what we we'll do is um, and this is the process to check the client okay that's what this whole um, PowerPoint is so because we want to make sure that once we determine what we want to do and we want to make sure what we're doing you know um, coincide to that particular project all right, so uh, we click this button here, go to the project management control menu, um, and we'll go up some. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So here, worksheet, info criteria. So there, input customer number. Balance, no. It's account number, no. Set no head, yes. Go to H, which is here. As the project outside of the current budget. Um, outside of yes, go to the control menu. Click project budget. Okay. Um, then we want to see, look at this control menu. All right, and then we go down here and we click review details of the record. Okay, and this is where we start making our adjustments. Okay, um, load data. Once we click that button, it will load audit data record. Um, initiate it and then review data and initiate all the steps. Okay, so and that's where we are right now. Okay. So, um, what we're doing is we are working on the steps which I have here. How are we going to go about doing that? And, and see, the thing about it is that what's going to happen is we're really going to need to be able to um, get into the process of uh, loading some of these tables, all right? Because, we, you know, some of the tables we don't even have uh, loaded yet. So, we had to come up with some type of idea how we're going to do that okay how we're going to go about loading that data okay into the necessary table so that we can start the whole uh, auditing process okay because this table here does not here so we know we have to uh, we have to load this table with the counting information okay so um, and that has to be initiated so Look up here. Uh, custom service menu, contract and summary. Let's see the cost. We don't need that. And I don't want to go too far out of fetch. Okay. Um, an estimate of cost. All right, which we haven't actually put that in there. Put that in because that's on this order form. They do have the tracking. Okay. 
an estimated cost. Okay. Type here and let this form here and let's see, you have this form here. So I think this is not, I think that might be part of it, but okay. So what we do, we will get this form here. A form view, and like I can say, just for the sake, I'm just going to um, go to a record. And like uh, as I keep saying, um, this right here is training data, so now this data is actually um, useful to anyone other than our particular predicament. Okay, so uh, we're here. Okay, so I'll go back. I don't, like I said, I don't think it's that far back. So, uh, I'm looking for the project number, really. That's for the project number. I mean, a customer number. Uh, and the customer number will actually be uh, associated with this, but I'm trying to figure out. Well, I need it. So, the one thing I have to have a project number, okay? If it doesn't have a project number, we're not even going to be worried about it unless we're going to prove it. Um, but that'd be a totally a different form, okay? All we're doing right now, we are going to be, um, we're going to be auditing a record that's already on the, in a budget. Okay, they don't even have an invoice yet. So, um, here. This kind of status not work, so we don't worry about that. This is a sign. So this probably here would be something, but we're gonna make we're gonna look at this right here and uh, waiting approval. So this is a sign. This is pending. Um, there may be some other factors that may need to go into this right here. But this field is actually gonna be locked. You can't really you can't change anything. You're not supposed to be able to change anything. Yeah, you can't change anything. Um, you had to go to a different screen. What? And then in this particular form, um, yeah, oh yeah, all these forms are locked. All right, so this is a viewable thing. And then down here, um, we're looking at this data here, and to find out exactly this form. So we do have. The customer number. Okay, so we got all these people trying to turn my phone off. So what happened was a uh, view details and it's supposed to do an update I updated three rows um season so open the table up uh well it's supposed to open this table up but you know it's already it's not open yet so open up this table here so it open up this table here and this is where we go looking exactly what's happening so i'm gonna close this out Okay, so, and it, like I say, it could be because this table, this table here is you know, the table is open, so that's what we're doing that. So we go back and uh, do the form view again. We're going to call it project this. Okay, so this is where we um, go to the audit. And like I say again, this table doesn't have any data. Okay, and then from here, we will. Um, so you see we have a historical fast. I'm on, like, some of this stuff here, um, is going to be not updatable, okay? 
but we want to make sure that whatever we do okay I'm gonna sign okay all right so we have to worry about it because in fact that there's no data in this table so we gonna have to what we're gonna be doing we need to load this table with some some test data all right and the test data is gonna be coming from this table so when we say customer product account budget but then we have to look at some um, some factors right you know we want to find out we want to make sure um, is it the current year you know because we don't want to go back too far anything like trying to make any audits um, we got to figure out exactly what factors we want to utilize in order to say okay is this record is closed um, uh, you know, if it's closed, we can still look at it as closed, but we can't make any change. We want to lock the record so this you can't make any changes to it, anything like that, because this is historic data. Uh, even after we do this, once we update or make a correction, it's going to a historical table that we have to um, uh, really, you know, think about. So we have uh, uh, historical data, but like I say, you know. Uh, this is an access database. You don't want this to be too big because, well, I don't want it to be too big because I'm about to break this down. And uh, I'm not lacking any space issues, anything like that. But, you know, uh, when it gets to a certain point, I'm going to have to start breaking this database up. But I just want the fundamentals to be plausible, okay? Something that we can use right now. And then the other features that we would have would be based on our client's budget, whether or not that client is willing to extend the services that we are trying to provide using the project manager database system to that, to those features. Okay. So we want to make sure they have access to features that will help them successfully build their, their customers. Okay. Or make modifications to what they're doing or, um, when it goes into a more robust um, application, all right, you know, then that's when the models can be broke down, um, depending on what they're trying to do. It can be a customer, uh, a customer account uh, module, it can be accounting module, and it be and then you know, and other different things as well. Okay, so um, I'm gonna work on that for a little bit, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so what I had to do on this form, this particular form right here, um, I, I changed the name of this form, okay? And it's just for, um, you know, I, this is the project account audit control. So I know this is an audit control form, but what we're doing in this particular form, we're, gonna be, we're doing an audit, okay? And that's, that's what we do. We're doing an audit. So, um, I may need to, and I'm going to go on this form here. If I say uh, record details, I'm going to have to make it clear when I do this. And I'm going to look at this here, um, this form here. Copy. I have to make it clear that these forms, okay, are audit forms. Okay, and um, so see, I had a comp budget here, All right? Um, I want to make sure that I want a clear indication that these are audit forms. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Well, I don't really want to copy because I don't know how that. That's what I want to add. So I'm just going to copy the text, and it's still a customer control form, audit form, but this is customer budget, but it's going to be, um, this, maybe I can't, let me see, you know, I can obviously just grab the whole thing back for you the uniformity here, so I can do this, and, uh, Take this out. Okay, just paste this in here. Okay. So what's what does it say? So it was label control. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to take the wording and just do it that because they're, you know, I don't want any conflicts. So instead of saying budget, count budget, so I'm just going to do this and the size of this form. Go to home. It's 22. Make this 22 as well. Is it still saying? I don't know who that is. Um, so should they move? That's not a true. So it's just for, for the label. It's not a button. Okay, it's just a form. Okay, so it has nothing to do with nothing. So no error. Okay, so it makes this so okay, so what I can do is I can go back. Okay. And I can go back to this form here. I can go ahead and just grab this. Copy and put this in this ignore error because you know they they want to know whether or not it's a button or not, which is not a button. It's just uh, a label. Okay. Okay. So. All right. So let me save this. All right, so all these forms are part of the investigation, right? All right, so that's the whole. Um, so I want to make sure that as I start making these changes, it's clear that these forms are all the base. There's no other purpose of these forms other than the fact that they are for auditing purposes only. All right, so. Like this control form here is an audit form. Um, okay, so I'm gonna look at uh, uh, audit 22. I think I already have that out, but let's see. Tracking funding audit. Funding audit, okay. So go back to my. Control. Okay, so uh, I think I got everything. Everything in this place. Okay. 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 So everything is pretty much. Okay. So. I think it's one more form that I was looking at that I was making modifications to. Um, there's another form, and I'm going to put that in here as well. Control um, form. Those are tables. Tracking and funding. The audit form. clear distinction distinction of what I am doing I do not want these things to cross over to something else that's not even related to what I am trying to convey to that particular um, personnel right that's actually working on this project okay all right, so I'm going to put a pause on this again and continue to work. Okay, so um, 
the two tables that I'm be referencing is going to be. Come on, I know I can do what I think I did. This is going to be this auto table is just not having any data in it, and this table here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. What I'm going to do once I click on, okay. Um, Where is it? I think it's this form here. When I say um, review record details, okay, it's going to open up this form. And I just want to double check it, okay? So, so it's doing an update statement first, okay? And then it's going to over this table. So what I wanted to do is, is I wanted to do, because I'm going to have to create, uh, I'm gonna, it's going to update this table. All right. Okay, it's going to do an update statement, right? And then it's going to load, I wanted to load this, this other table, okay, which is this table, okay? So, it's going to have to be customer specific. Uh, you, you understand? But I have to qualify this record. There has to be a reason why, okay, that I'm picking this particular record for audit. Because on any accounting side, when, when you're doing investigations, you, know, you have to have a reason. They have to say, okay, well, why are we looking at this or how come we we just found out this now? Okay, we want to eliminate that. You do not want to go into a process where you find an error because there are not checks and balances with auditing a customer's financial position. You do not want to be putting in too much work into something and the budget isn't there. Okay, so we have to have checks and balances. So um, in this table, first of all, okay, um, we're going to have to do some factoring, okay, all right? So we're going to come up with some type of calculations, okay? We're going to do some calculations, so okay, well, this is a table that we're going to be auditing, okay, because I'm going to go back to the table, all right, because we know this is a table. And once we do this audit, okay, so we, you know, I'm saying, you know, once we do this audit, um, we have to, um, now, maybe we have to, you know, uh, um, put in an invoice number, uh, you know what I'm saying, and then put it also in audit on the front of the invoice number, right? Saying audit, and then that's the invoice number. So we are invoicing, you know, that particular record based on this criteria, this invoice number, okay? If that's understandable. So we want to make sure that once we audit a record, it has to be based on certain criteria. All right, we just don't want to just inadvertently audit. We want to make sure number one would make sure there's no zero balance. Okay, you understand? And if there is a zero balance, were there any other balances before that? And over, you know, let's say a ninety day period, um, were there any factors as far as were there any adjustments between these dates and some of that? You know. All right, so that's going to be a factor. Um, so, um, so when we click, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so when we get to here, we say review record details. All right, we say review record details. I'm going to look at this here. And it does an update and then open up this funding audit table. Okay, and the reason why it's open to this table, okay, which is this, um, is this form here. 
okay? And this form is associated with um, this table, which does not have any data in it, right? Okay, so I'm going to create uh, a query, and then once I create this query, um, I'm going to come back with my results, and then we're going to do uh, a little investigation based on that, and then we're, I'm going to explain to you how I come up with this solution, and then we're going to load that data into that table based on those criteria. Okay? Okay, so let me pause this. Hello, hello, hello. This is your man Nicholas Shepard from the Shepard Family Enterprise Business Administration and Information Systems Consultants. And what I'm doing um, is basically, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes, uh, I made a couple of changes to my uh, document here. Um, and I'm going to make sure I am in line to what I need to be showing. Uh, it may, I might switch this out right quick. Um, so, let me see here. Because some things I don't really want to show because of the fact that, well, my thing selection. Uh, so, let me see here. Okay, now in my document, what I have done is uh, let me see. Um, I put down some things that I was working on previously, okay, and I had to change the name of some of these forms, okay, so it'd be in sync to what I was doing. So, what I have done to some of my forms is that the forms that I decided that I wanted to uh, create an audit using this audit feature, I changed the title because see, this is a whole different uh, form. All right. So when I go in, let me go ahead and turn this to form view. So when I, um, go here and I click a button like I said review record detail okay and it does the update it's okay you know it doesn't matter and what happens is that it bring up this now the reason being that I am not putting this here because when I click this button Okay, and I'm going to go back and get the other form. So I'm going to, okay, when I say uh, customer project account budget, all right, it brings up this form. Okay, now this form here is where we previously left off. And right here, this is where we'll be doing the audit. So we're going to be, now, what I have decided to do is um, I was making a query. Okay, which I should have listed inside of my project notes. Um, let's see, the query that I designed, this is the 23rd, is this query here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to copy this so you can see exactly what I've done. And we'll go ahead and put this back to design mode. Uh, this here, I'm going to go ahead and put this back to design mode. Okay, and I'm going to show you this query here. Okay. Now, this query um, is based on the update query. Now, the only thing that I have to do because remember, it's bringing back these uh, records here. Now, I'm going to have to unify the results of this query 
um, with the other details pertaining to the form or the record that I am auditing, okay, and be able to, like I said, I'm going to put this in design mode, I mean, not design mode, excuse me, uh, form view, and populate these fields, okay? So, and this record is going to be part of this table, okay? And we're going to look at this table. I'm quite sure. No, I don't. Yeah, I'll go back in design mode. So I'm gonna go here and I'm look at the data. Make sure just to make sure that I've missed the table of regret, which it was. Okay. And the reason why I don't like going back to the form when I'm referencing my project notes, I want you to understand that you know. Whenever you are working on a project and you have your project outlines um, uh, uh, document and you're tracking what you're doing, if you have good notes, okay? Now, this is how I made mine because of the fact that, and it may look a little confusing because I haven't put the numbers and everything like that, but these things here are the main details that I need to be focusing on, all right? And I didn't want to put down priorities because I'm going to have to intertwine some of these things together. So all these main project tasks are associated with each other, if that makes sense, okay? Now, once I have accomplished these things and make a unified effort so I can populate a workable uh, record that I can audit, then I will condense these notes in the next date and phase of this project, all right? Now, the whole purpose of me instructing you and teaching you how to work on a project is to train your mind to be focused, all right? And these details, you will be able to show whoever the project coordinator is, um, well, this is what you have done, okay? And you go by step by step, step by step, step by step, okay? So, um, today is May the 25th. All right, and I started this at 9.30, okay? So, um, these, uh, this is here, this is 5D. I think I've done this already, but we'll see. I'll see. I'm not going to really dwell on that. Okay, because I want to put this into one doc. I was looking at my file folder, and I just wanted to review this to make sure this these two videos are merged together to generate uh, a, a, a training document, a training video, excuse me, that you can go through and scroll through to learn a process. And as I explained to you in the past, these are only ideals, okay? to trigger in your mind what you may need to do. Now, you can use your own instances, your own uh, ideals in place of what I've done, but it's to put you in the direction to think, all right, about what needs to be done while you're working on a project. Now, you could be working on multiple projects, small projects, but you need a functional document, all right? Okay. So, let's go back to what I was working on. And so, I'm going to go here. And we're going to go to the table we we're just talking about. All right, I'm over this, this table. And go to view. Okay, so there's no, there's no data. Okay, so the information that I was referencing okay as far as my query this information okay 
has to be inserted, appended to this table. Okay. Now, you also must understand, all right, even though we are appending this information, we have to have, which I have not included in this query, the design view. Okay. The ID. All right. Okay, now in this table here, this table only have the ID of the record sets, all right? And this table has the ID of the record that has been worked and it is now in its workable um, stages, okay? And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go here, okay, this is a project, uh, and we're going to pull that document back, let's see, do, 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 we have this, what is it, master account, I just want to make sure. That we grab the right information. Okay. Mm. Okay. Let's see. T. Okay. So we have this. So I'm going to open up this uh, design mode. Look at this. So we have all these records. Now, the only record that I'm actually pulling is the record that has. Uh, a project number associated with it okay so if we uh, and of course a customer number right so these has a, a, a account project number ID associated with it and it also has um, let's go back a pro project sequence number so and we'll go back again and let's look at something else to make sure I am in sync. I am in sync to what I'm talking about. And there's a lot of different things, okay, in this table that I have to retrieve and um, put together so that we can follow a successful audit, okay? All right, so the next one would be because we have already looked at this. Uh, let me see this form. Okay. The next form um, we'll be looking at. Let me see. And this is make sure this is the same. Okay. This is this one. All right. We have this, this, this. So make sure we have all the information that we need. Let me go ahead and open this form up right quick. Okay. So when we are working on an audit, okay, and um, the customer side they want to, um, uh, let's say, um, extend this project, okay. First thing we do, we'll push on this button, which is a, a customer customer project account budget. Now, um, I'm gonna go back to the form view. Because I want to see, uh, excuse me, that form view, uh, design view. And I want to see exactly what this, where is this is going. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the event. Okay, when this, thing, when this form is triggered, I'm going to go here. And I think that's the same one we were just looking at. Finding audit. Oh, let's go to the audit. Copy this. Close this. Do we have the form up? Go ahead and do this first. Ah, I messed up. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I messed up. I gotta go back to the form. Accidentally um, grab the. Okay, copy. Pace. 
okay design view so okay so it opens up this form okay and this form is where the audit began all right okay so um, this form would actually be listing okay and I'm gonna look at this I'm gonna go to the data structure make sure the information that we want to look at okay so we have this table and this is the table that we were just looking at I'm for sure on it on the 22 excuse me that doesn't have any data all right so uh, what's going to happen is that as soon as we um, go back to the form okay as soon as we click this button okay the customer um, okay the customer uh, budget all right it's going to open an order form and it's going to automatically take that record just that record okay and insert it into this table Okay, but I gotta make sure all these details are there. All right, so that's what I'm working on right now. Um, that's why I have um, this initial query. Okay, and this is the beginning data. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to include. The record numbers, record number ID, right, associated with these records, okay, because these are records that we're tracking, okay, and if there's any updates, okay, like the resources and so like that, you know, make sure all these resources are, um, you know, associated with this record. But I'm gonna look at some other things because this is just a, these are just records that we selected okay uh because if i show you let's see let's go back to here um it's a team i think i thought i had uh, okay these records have been invoiced okay but updated by Counting verification. Okay, so um, all these things will have to be in place. So uh, I got to make sure when I do that, the counting verification um, update is is being taken place. Okay, so um, I'm gonna have to track that. What uh, event triggers that? Whole process okay but all this information will be pushed in but even though this is gonna be auditing it's gonna be something else it will be ADI um, um, which I use here as oh excuse me yeah ADI it's gonna be an ADI um, uh, trigger okay You're gonna say uh, audited records uh, ADI audit investigation so records audited record uh, ADI okay so that's gonna be the signature all right so uh, and that's going to let them know that we are actually per se auditing this record and we put a lock on it or you know until we finish investigation so they cannot do any work on um, these tables um, and um, when it can't update the table to after we finish our audit, okay? And we're gonna try, probably try to generate an error message as well. So it says, you know, this record's been audited and um, contact uh, uh, ADI 
uh, department for more information. Okay, so they'll contact and find out what's going on. We explain it to them so they can pass that information on to the customer. All right. Okay. Moving on. Now, in our flow chart, okay, all my, my flow chart actually had to reflect that situation. All right. So, as far as the details and, and things of that nature, such as review data and audit and initial audit setup, you know, this is where the investigation actually starts. Okay, review data, initiate all the setups. So they have to be, we have to initiate some type of steps that will, the auditor will have to go through as checks and balances, okay, so that we know that the process that they took to make sure this project is properly funded and approved, all the variables have been looked at before we released it okay all right so um i'm gonna put this video on pause i'm gonna do a couple of more um uh, tests and then we we'll bring everyone back aboard and then we'll see exactly where we are okay so what i have done so far okay and what I decided, and you should be deciding the same thing when you're working with a project. If you're going to audit a record, you want to make sure there are checks and balances, okay? You want to make sure that the reason that the uh, project is going to be audited and ensure that the record set has either an open budget or extended timeline associated with that customer and team. And ensure there's a project ma manager ID. Okay. And, uh, you know, there is, you know, the open project number and customer number associated with that open project. Okay. Now, um, there are going to be some other factors associated with this record. But for the time being, we want to make sure that this record, okay, is viewable. All right. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to ensure that all the data that we need is being displayed. All right. And if we want to do a drill down on that record, because like I say, we do not want to do something that's too complex, anything like that, because it's not really, you know, called for, okay? You know, because that's something totally different, um, total different area, and that is when the, the project is being locked down for extensive research, all right? But we're not getting into that right now. All we want to do is click look at the record see what the budget is okay um you know we want to add another person to the project or we want to extend the project out a week uh you know, things like that okay we we do not want to put so much into the project um investigation on that at this level okay of our uh, workshop um and to, you know, to confuse the situation. Because some of you are just not learning this and you need to go back and look at our previous videos, okay, which I have listed, okay? So you can just go back to our uh, project management database and we have, this is a level two. Uh, you may not have to go to level one, all right? But if it's necessary for you to go back to level two, um, do that and all you got to do is go to our uh, project management uh, let me see you can go here right you go to the playlist 
and um, from there you can look for um, this right here is level two uh, we have uh, let me go down let's see excuse me sorry about that level two this is uh, level two uh, this part 13 um, da, 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 da. make sure we're going the right way um, project management okay and this is this advanced series of course unless you are at the level and why is this thing here? It's not moving over. Uh, is this here? I'm just trying to make sure that you are in sync to what's going on. Okay. And go here, go here, go here. I don't understand why. Well, okay, I know why now. So I just do this. Nope, that won't work. Okay, because so all it did is it's brought this down. But this right here is advanced logic. Um, you will have to actually go off into the other area. And let me see which we were just looking at. And I can close this down, this particular video down. It's not really necessary to have it open. So let me close this. I don't need that. So this right here is I should, I should tell me what it is. It's right here. It's not to play. What level is this? Cause we got the intro level. Okay. Like I say, let's level two again. Alright, so So we to play this uh, project management. Um, okay, right there. This right here is. This I've been showing it to me. Okay, training level. Okay. You can go to this one. All right. And I'll put that into the details for beginners. And then you don't have to go through every part of this particular uh, series. Okay. But what I will do, I'll put it in my notes. Okay. For those of you that are just starting out. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and copy this and so I make sure I'll be able to put it inside here okay and um, okay put it in a note a notepad I think I have my notepad open okay so So this is uh, make it bigger. Okay, and maybe I need to change the the format of my view. Um, so layout mode. Um, page width. Uh, this is view. Page management, um, view print mode, views layout. Um, that. But you get what I'm saying. All right, so I ain't got to go and go all that. You know, um, change. You know everything around just the layout here. So orientation, the landscape. Okay, so you can see it. All right. So this is the 
where you need to start. Okay. And going back here. This is this right here. This is the beginning. All right. This is level one. We're going to do this. Maybe let me do it. One for beginners, all right. Then let me do it. I don't need to listen to it. All right, you go here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. I'm gonna go back to my original one. Let me allow me to do it. Uh, Welcome to the show time in Enterprise. Uh, this is where we are now. This is immediate. Okay, so put this in here. All right, so this is where you need to be. Okay, and this is just for beginners. And, you know, so when we start going off into more intri intricate details of the investigation, trying to figure out exactly why we are on this record and it and i know this is going more on the specialized um talent uh in investigations this is like the whole general outlook of this project right now is just being a business analyst okay going out there looking at it as a project manager and then assigning tasks based on the complexity of the project okay and this all this instruction is also designed for those of you who are either beginning in this whole process to go back and take a deeper look. Are you being detailed enough to give the customer an effective project? Okay, and completing the project from phase one to phase four. All right, and all the tests are assigned based on what you have available, okay? That's the whole purpose of these this instructional videos, okay? All right, so going back to our database. Now, what I am going to do, all right, right now, um, I'm gonna have to look at this table, all right? The temp table, master accounting, tracking, product audit, okay, to, to, uh, to, to Two, 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 and we want to utilize the record, all right, that um, has an effective date, and we want to take that data, all right, and we want to add it to this table, all right. Now we could do one or two things. We can. Go back out to, and we're gonna go to the record that I that's in question, right? Go back to our database. We can do one or two things, okay? And this is gonna go to the form, right? And go to our forms, and the form that we are trying to utilize, all right, on our project is the. Uh, Go here. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Service. Admin. Funding. Let's see. Customer accounts. Go here. Open this form. Okay. And we'll look at the form view. Okay, of course, we'll open up that. And we want to have ensure, okay, I'm going to the design mode, right? Come out of this. And we want to create a query. Based on this table okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring up this table 
a design view, I'm going to look at it, right? So we know we have these four records in our test database, right? All right. So what we want to do is we want to take this data, right? Load it, okay, into this table, all right? Which is already there. They're already there, okay? But if we are auditing that table, so we got 4, 6, and 12. Let's go back here. Count 4, 6, and 12. Count numbers. Okay, 4, 6, and 12, right? And we want to load this data, the, all these records, okay, into where are we at? Okay, into this table. Okay, so what we're gonna have to do, we want to create a query. Okay, and there's two tables that we're gonna need to be focusing on. Correct. All right. So the first um, query that we have to be looking at, and let me see if we can go here. Um, the first query we have to be this query. All right. Because this query is the one that we want to pull all the information back. All right. Um, now, whether or not we use the query, that's, that's beside the point. But we want that information going to the auditing table. Right. Um, to be sure. Okay, so this is the, okay, all right, we're using this, this table here as a point of reference, okay, because we're only going to be using these records. So, this audit, let's go back some more, go back again, so these, this query, okay, so let's go back to uh, query. Let's see, Q R Y A U D. So we're gonna take this query. We're gonna back to our query results, right? And we're gonna do. We're gonna add this query, all right, into this. So. What we want to do is, okay, the next table that we want to pull back, all right, we have this. Now, this query actually has um, the information that we need, okay, all right. So, we're going to go back to the audit, okay, and go back here. So we have this. We want to make sure we load this information. Okay. All right. Make sure we load. Make sure. Make sure we have all the information that we need. Okay. All right. Um, okay. We're gonna make sure we load this information into this table. All right. So we're gonna to have to do that query, right? And we have to do the other query to make sure that I'm gathering information properly. Oh, we already got that data. So I'm gonna take this out, all right? I'm gonna close this out because we already have that data and I don't wanna confuse the situation. Okay, so over here, back. So query we was looking at uh, corporate account. So we would need temp table. Temp table um, master corporate. Okay. Account. Okay, 
So we go back to our query. And we're going to put this table here. Now, what would it, what do we want to do now? Okay, All right. That's the question. What do we want to do now? Um, we have the the table, right? Go to corporate accounting table. Uh, we just had it out of the close it out. Yeah, this way. Okay, we have this table. So we're gonna make sure that these customer numbers, right, this route is associated with our query. Alright. So uh we have this and this. Okay. Over county and a query. Okay, we have customer number. I want to see the our query back to farm. I want to make sure our query has customer number in it. Okay, this doesn't have customer number in it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull all the customer data. The first thing we'll do, right? We'll pull all the custom data. Now, um, once we pull the customer data, we want to see how we want to sync this up, right? Because all of them don't have a customer number, right? So we we'll have to go back and look because we might have to add um, some information. Because now, mind you, we're going to create this query and we're going to update that other table with the relevant information okay but we're going to make sure these this these two queries match okay so uh, we're going to use the project number I thought I saw just slow. Going too fast. It has a customer number. It has a project number. This is a customer base table. But I thought I had the project number here. Oh, it may not. Oh, this just doesn't have anything to do with that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to look for um, project. I can use the explanation of cost, but we haven't really uh, explanation of cost. Um, let me see. Uh oh, we can't do that. So we got the explanation of cost. Say this 
because these are records we approved. So we have to validate it. So first of all, we're going to have to look at this. Okay. And we're going to make sure. All right. I'm going to look at this ID. All right. I'm going to see if. this ID equals this ID. All right. So to the corporate, that's what we call some brain is ID down. All right. And I'm going to run the query. I know it's going to be some messed up. Okay. So these IDs match. Okay. All right. So that's good. Okay. So by design, now, the next thing, explanation of cost. Um, we're gonna look for the project number, right? Project. Now we're gonna see if this and this matches. So we run the query again. Okay. All right. All right. There's our there's our data right there. Okay. And we need to make sure that the information that we have. Let's see. No, do I have cost in here? Okay, yeah, have the budget. Okay. Um, so we got to figure out what the facts are going to be. And we're going to name this. And we're going to name this, okay? And you got to make sure that all this data okay is in its associated place so um make sure all the numbers there all the telephone numbers you know we have to be able to update the telephone numbers as needed because once we do this audit everything will be pushed back right to update all the records right so when they do an update they would update all the other tables all right so it has the order number Service agreement not started. Okay. Uh, move forward. Verify information. Return ID. Uh, this is that. Okay. It's approved. And this here, this information here, account monitor approval. Um, does this, this, it's supposed to have something else here. Okay. So we'll investigate that later. All right. You know, um, and why that has the, uh, account manager's ID and not the approval code, but we can, we can, we can do that. Okay. So we have that, the payment ID, account status active. Okay, I think we have basically all the information that we need. Okay, to go forward. Okay. So, um, and if we have to add more information, update the table with other query, we'll do that. Okay. So, the second thing we need to do is, okay, so we have this information. Okay. We have all the information we need pertaining to that record. Okay. Because um, we explanation of costs, right? Because that's what we display. We're looking at that. Um, and then we have the phases. Now look at this again. So that's what it costs. Uh, this is a corporate. Okay. And we may need to look at. project set number. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this. Well, I can pull all this information. All right? This is a uh, special cost. This is corporate. All right? And I can start pulling down what I think. So you got project that's set as much cost. Project number. Because I don't think this has the project number. 
We have a project number here. The order number. And like I said, I'm gonna have to go down and look at a lot of the stuff and some of the things I'm gonna have to update it. I'm gonna create a trigger, all right, to update this record. And then any subsequent query, any subsequent tables that have that uh, defective data have to be updated as well. Okay. All right. That's going to be audited. That's the direction we audit. That means we're cleaning up the, the tables. All right. With the current audit information. So we're going to look at this. I'm trying to make sure because I don't want anything to be redundant. Okay. Okay. So we know it doesn't have the project number information because that's explanation of cost. So we're going to put down this um, all the way to here. Okay. We're grabbing all this information here. And we're going to move that information down past here. Okay. I'm going to make sure you move to the right place, okay, because I'm LB to be a balance. So I'm going to take this information. Okay. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, I'm going to run the query again and see where we're at. So, because I want to be able to look at. Um, Make sure we got that. Okay, we got that. Corporate. Okay. Approval. Payment. And I'm going to clean this table up. Okay. I just want to make sure I have the basic information. All right. So, um, Okay, so the project number, project sequence number, and then we have the project set number. Okay, which we have, I think we have that up here in our query, right? Let me go here. And in our here we had the project set number. No, we don't. Okay, because we didn't need it. Okay. All right. So the second thing is what we're going to name this query. Okay. All right. We're going to name this query. All right. So we know we're going to save it. Right. We know it's going to be QRY. And we have to say, uh, of course, it's accounting, right? Um, it's, uh, select, right? And we're going to say ADI, ADI, right? Uh, ADI, and because that's the whole purpose of it. ADI, select ADI, and record. Okay. It will say zero, zero, 001. Okay. All right. I'm going to say zero, 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 0001. All right. So we're going to take that. And we'll clean this up. We just want something we can start with. All right. So, and we'll go back to that document and say that we. We have uh, created a document. Right? So uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to push this down. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Okay, 
this right here. And I guess I'll do it this way. Okay, put this down. Let's say this right here is uh, 25. Okay, 25. May 2024. Put here. Put here. 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 All right. Eighty hour record. Okay. And we're gonna say this query is related to the and we need to look at exactly what um, is going to initiate this whole uh, process right so we're going to look at the form right so this is the form okay that will initiate it so when we look at this form okay um, let's see, go back. All right, and it has to be something that initiates this before this actually take place. All right, so what I'm going to do I'm going to say form. Let me see audit. Let's see ADI. Do I got ADI? Do I have ADI? Okay, do I have forms to form? So it's F A M and have to be accounting. A C C D accounting. Okay. Um uh, tracking funding. Let's just look at it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because when we click this button, custom but uh, project, you know what I'm saying? Um, let me look at it now. Because I don't want to initiate something that's not really necessary. Okay. Um, it does. Okay. It's over the audit. Okay. And the audit, uh, funding audit, I think that's the take, that's the form that's blank, right? Okay, that's the form that's blank. Okay. So, um, so, uh, So we know, all right, once we click okay. I'm close this out right All right, so once I click this name so once we click this button so the query is related to the triggering of the Put this form name down. Okay. Um, and the button, right? That would be initiating that function. Okay.
right, so where am I? Um, okay, this query is related to the triggering of the form. All right. Budget. Button. When. Click. Okay. All right. So. Okay, comma. Button when click. Okay. So this form is triggered when this button right, is clicked. Alright. So this is a query that we have initiated. Okay. And make sure we emphasize this. Okay. And make sure that we kind of want to put some space in between that record and this to let us know that, you know, hey, you know, we have. Uh, plan okay. okay so and uh, so we have this so this query is what's going to be initiated in the whole process now the next phase though what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab this because I'm gonna bring that up right okay and uh, what's this Same will be triggered to be on in the edit process. And uh, what happened here? It must have been saved here. Okay. Okay, I figured it out. I figured that out. Okay, it's clicked. All right, so what did I want to do? Because I kind of like want to do this. Okay, so we got this. Um, we got this. So um, I will put the ADI process steps in here. Okay, which is basically as we have seen is actually uh, these steps here. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring this down. Okay. And I'm going to go back down to 25. as a reference point, right? Put this here. Okay. Of course, we don't need that. We're going to come out of that. All right. Um, let me see. This is the 25th of May. Um, want to put here okay these are main project tasks so we ain't got to worry about that all right um 
I think that's going to be it for right now. Okay, and I'm going to go and put some more notes in here related to this. And I don't think I need to be doing the video in order to do that. Um, so, um, I guess that's about it for right now. Okay, so let's go over what we just did. So the whole process of this um, current phase is what we're doing is we we are utilizing this query, okay, it's like ADR record, all right, uh, based on the query that we was using to select the record, all right, okay, which was this particular uh, query. Where is it at? Right, but we had already up, updated that, right? So um, it's based on this query, all right. And what we are doing, make sure where we at here. Okay, what we are doing is we are um, we are going to utilize this record as our initial step to load okay the uh, this table here this audit table right so I'm going to put this to see make sure I have it down because I want to make sure that it's documented the Tim Taylor audit will be loaded with the um, I'm not going to say refined results it's more of a general Results pulled from this table will be loaded with the results pulled from the and with tables. Okay, so we gotta make sure we know what tables we are pulling this data from. So we pull in the data from Go back here, go to the query, the query, okay. So, audit select, I do this query here first. Uh, I don't think we use that. So, we use the corporate. Okay, use the corporate uh, dot I ID is joined. The let's join to the what ID uh, exponential cost ID. Okay, and I can go in here, you know, and you know, pull the whole query down if, uh, if need be. All right, but we're not gonna work with 
that right now. All right. So and uh, okay. So we know this table. Be loaded with the general results poured from these tables. Right? So I'm going to put this in like this. Make it this right here. Um, the other table, this is the initial, that is the initial table. Right? And we're going to use using this table. Right? And this table. And also, we utilizing the the audit select right as a base factor. So is that it? Uh, so I can just say this right. Here. I can just pull so everything is based on the pro. This is this right here is based on the project number. Let's put this here. So um, this. And expression of cost project number I joined. Copy. So I say and the ID and where the we select dot. project number equals we do that I'll make this here equals the, go back to here, go from here, and it's equals to the project, that's measure cost, the actual cost dot project number okay all right so that's it um put some space between this line spacing So I think that's um, about it. So I'm going to go like this. Right here. Go ahead and make it bold. They are factors. Okay. All right. Save your document. All right, and that is it, okay? So the next phase, where, where the person comes from, um, I got another, I don't know what 
that's it. I don't know where he's coming from. This, oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, again, um, that's about it for this uh, phase of instructions. This is, going to be, this is a long uh, video, and uh, you may need to take a break. I'm going to go ahead and compile the video and put it out on YouTube. And uh, once it's launched and everything like that, you can go over it at your leisure and, you know, take your little notes. And I would really encourage you to like share make sure you click the alarm button right so that you know when I am uh, producing another okay or other like project management database for our business analysts and project managers new project managers and hopefully the information that I'm giving you help you to gain a better understanding what's going on when you are working on your projects. Okay? All right. Again, thank you very much. And don't forget to donate to the Shepherd Family Enterprise LLC Business Administration Information Systems Consultants so that we can get this information out to other business analysts or teams or new companies that's trying to enhance their possibility of unifying their activities with your budget. Okay? Again, thank you very much.